Greetings, and welcome back to another episode of Nexus Craft. Here with me, Blue Nexus Gaming. As you can see, we are still on the 1.17.0 version. We have the option of updating. We have not yet updated. Um, the Realms has updated, so if I want to accept that Realms invite that I had in my inbox, I will need to update for that. Uh, one of my friends sent me a Realms invite. As we could see there, we have uh, we have an adequate minecart system here. However, the primary thing we want to note is how much string we have. Uh, I did not get to spend very much time. AFK because I was just very busy. And on top of that, I was using my phone for voice chat, so I couldn't actually sit there AFK playing Minecraft. Um, <clears throat> I did not get much AFK time, but I did get enough for at least a few beds here. If we check our storage here, we should find we have a decent quantity of armor, bows. Uh, we've got power two and breaking one. Uh, we already have power three and then breaking three. Uh, those two can probably get disenchanted. Um, let me go ahead with the disabling of the uh, machine here. Now, make sure I didn't accidentally just pick up the trident. Uh, I'm not seeing any experience orbs. Yeah, I'm not seeing any experience orbs. Um, I mean, that's fine. I didn't need experience. It just would have been nice. is still functioning. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of armor. Uh, we can merge these leather caps together. Make them a little healthier. We can disenchant this armor and take it to the uh, furnace can uh, recover some material from the armor. That will allow us a little bit of uh, a little bit of raw material that we can work with. There's the experience. Now we just put those in there. Uh, additionally, now that we have all the bows, we can actually make a lot more of the uh, dispensers, not just droppers. Why we 
do that is very simple. We just grab some redstone dust, some cobblestone. Uh, we want to make sure we disenchant the bows that don't need to be enchanted. And then we just open up the crafting table here. Dispenser, 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 and then, oh, I don't have enough cobblestone, hold on. Dispenser. Now I need to deposit these dispensers. <clears throat> um. So yeah, I've been keeping busy. Um. I tried to play my D&D &D campaign on Friday, but the problem I had there was that half of the players just didn't show up. Um, some of them were busy, but for the majority of them, they just didn't show up. Why am I all the way over here? Probably because I was looking at the fish in my inventory earlier. So that's got a decent amount of pumpkins available. Uh, let's see. There we are. Deposited the dispensers. I'm up to 23 dispensers now, which is pretty good. Um, keep in mind, I'm on this world solo. Therefore, all of the progress that you see before you well, that's just me. Um, none of my friends have managed to be able to join my server slash phone. <laughs> um, they, they haven't been able to join my world. That's a more concise way of putting it. Um, now... Since I have mending on my pickaxe, if I really wanted to, I could actually start clearing out all of this rock up above here. <clears throat> all of the stone. And that would do me well for a while. However, uh, one thing I want is I want to use for all of this stone. And I heard that the villagers uh, have this uh, stonemason uh, villager that will purchase large quantities of stone for very cheap uh, especially if you keep curing villagers, uh, which now that we have a way to get gold armor as loot, um, we actually have access to the 
gold that would be required for extra large quantities of golden apples. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the enchanted golden apple is available for trade or if that's even uh, if that's even going to function on a zombie villager. Um, but the uh, what is it? the golden apple does work, and we want to go this way. No, we don't. No, 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 no. I'm hoping to avoid that. Oh, okay, I managed to get out. Okay. Um, it has come to my attention that if I turn these around completely, like, put them up there, I can do that, and that's so much better. Um, therefore, I think I will actually do that, um, and the fact that my axe here as mending is definitely going to get put to use because now that means that I can freely redecorate pretty much this entire place. trade. Uh, wait. Now who are we missing? Alright, guys. Who's still got it? It hasn't despawned, so I know as soon as I pick it up who it was. You. It's in your inventory. Ah, yes. A valuable trade. Uh, so yeah, I probably want to go through and just kind of collect all of these trapdoors and move them to the top. If you're curious about where I came up with this idea, uh, I was actually watching uh, Silent Whisper at his villager trading hall, and he was getting everything organized himself on his end in order to get situated with some proper villager trades. But, in the process, he ended up uh, showing me that uh, it was entirely possible to just have trapdoors on the top, and the villagers will still respect the hitbox here, even if the player is able to entirely ignore the hitbox of the trapdoor. Um, the villagers still respect the bounds of the hitbox. Therefore, this is really easy. Because, yeah. Um, I will want to make sure that the villagers don't uh, 
escape through any of these no, corners, obviously. And at the same time, I don't want monsters shooting at them. Again, from any of these corners. Ah, uh, yes. My army of cats. <laughs> I'd forgotten about them. they were still uh, reproducing. Hmm. I suppose I have time available to... Oh, that's where the other one's coming from. Okay. I was wondering where that was coming from. Zombie, pro tip, don't stand in lava. That's a smart zombie. <laughs> he has not stood in lava. Well played, zombie. Well played, you're smarter than your brethren. <laughs> Granted, that's not saying much. I mean, they wander around all day looking for brims. <laughs> they keep going, brims? Where we get these brims? <laughs> it doesn't work out very well. Um, I suppose that's one thing I need to do. I need to go around uh, replacing signs with... Uh, with fence gates uh, and buttons wherever possible. Oh, another bow. Of course. Lovely. Um, I will actually want the rotten flesh moved to this area. don't seem to have any adults yet, therefore, actually, I'm not even sure. Are they still breeding? Or did they fill up the beds? No, they did not fill up the beds. They are still breeding, I think. I don't see any food. That's not good. I'm seeing various sparkles on these beds as though they were breeding, but I'm not seeing them throw any food back and forth. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go get more food. Darn! And on top of that, I gotta fill in more beds. I gotta do all kinds of stuff here. Huh. Well, okay then. 
Um, I'll be over here if you need me. Actually, let me pick up this. Because as soon as I get over here, it's going to do this. Which means I actually need to grab this, redirect it to here. Because that way, I will either end up over here, or I will end up doing a lap around here, seeing how many villagers I have, and then getting sent back over to there. of food, which means I probably want to actually grab one of those villagers and send them up to the farm. Once I have the farm occupied by a villager, the villager can, well, run the farm. It'll be great. sort through this stuff a little bit. Uh, let's see. Various things that I wanted to deposit were including all of these things. Um, well, for the bone, that would actually be over here. the proper bow. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Now we've converted that into a dispenser. And we need to go up top in order to retrieve the uh, the food, anyways. Amongst other things we need to retrieve. Uh, we need to redirect the rail line because we want a villager to end up as a farmer. Therefore, we want them to, you know, make their way over here and do farm work. Um, I suppose they're going to want a bed. One that is safe from zombies. Uh, I did say I wanted to make this into a moat. I suppose I could make it into a moat for my farmer. Set it. Is it 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, these two. Okay. Um. out where that place is going to be and I don't really have anything to actually build it with at the moment but yeah I kind of need to mark out where that place is going to be that way I can have a spot where my villager lives um, I suppose I want the looms down there as well of the dispensers. stone half slabs, which I put away. Um, I can make it work for now. I have stone bricks, which I will want to use for this construction. Um, it'll be fine, I think. Maybe. We'll find out. We'll find out if it'll be fine. Uh, for starters, let's just start building up from these uh, from these doors. Which means the first thing I need to do is crouch, place, and then crouch, and get right up against the door, place. And that allows me to place the blocks behind me because I don't want to place them in front of me, obviously, because there's a door directly in front of me. So I must want to place it on the nearest side of the door at that angle, which places it, you know, in the spot behind me. Uh, I'm not very good at describing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Is that really in the center? I don't think that's in the center. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, work with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
that is not in the center. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Or I'm miscounting. Okay. Once again. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Which doesn't add up. Oh, right, because the door's on sand on this side. Okay, so that means these aren't in the center, they're off by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the center. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, I don't want to actually build all the way out to the cactus perimeter, because then it's more likely that A, I would end up using this as a shortcut, <laughs> and B, it's more likely that a monster would actually cause damage to the villager. We don't want that. Now we don't need our farmer that we're using to grow food uh, in order to power our villager breeder uh, to get hurt because then we'd have to either get a new farmer or we would need to get uh, a way to cure the farmer. Either way, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and it's much easier to just protect the farmer from damage than it is to replace them much, much easier. I mean, it's usually a better idea to keep what you have uh, safe and protected as opposed to, you know, replacing what you have. Replacing what you have is usually not optimal. Come on, Torch. Nope, it's not going to push itself high enough to get picked up. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go down to it then. Which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, now, I have 
have no idea why the water is responding to the blocks above them like that, but it's fine that they are. I don't mind. It adds a nice, uh, a nice touch to the moat. And whilst at it, let's go ahead and get these various objects uh, up here instead of down there. Uh, let's see, we're going to want a wall. Mm, probably not a solid wall, but a wall. Nonetheless, uh, do, 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 do. so let's trace out a wall real quick. That way, we don't accidentally place anything uh, that we will need to pick up later. Oops. Let's start over here. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna wanna deposit all of the potatoes and the various other uh, crops that are available here. We're going to want to hurry, obviously, because as you saw, it's getting kind of late, and as you might have noticed, we did not provide any form of lighting in this build yet. We will work on that. Um, but for now, okay, you're going away. Thank you. Uh, for now, we want to go to the nearest bed. Uh, nearest one I'm aware of off the top of my head is right over here. Now we can just head back over here. We've got ourselves a lovely area to work in uh, that needs lighting, apparently. Let's see, one, two, three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. It actually goes right under there. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and start placing these in. Face south so that the lantern faces north. the items that were uh, collected down here. Do, do, do.
Okay. Now I can do the diagonals. Actually, that's a wall, so that's going to be more along the lines of being like this. Okay. I'm thinking maybe like an observatory type build where it's just glass panes all the way around. Uh, and then I could have the doors up here. I don't think it would look too bad. Probably right over here somewhere. I'm thinking probably here. Oops. Yeah, I'm thinking right about there. Anyways, uh, back to the task at hand, I believe, which was uh, retrieving all of the materials from here in order to transfer them over to the new storage location, which is right over here. First, I have to kind of move everything out of one barrel and into another, but first I gotta, like, you know, make sure I'm not gonna throw the contents of the barrel all over the ground. <laughs> kind of helps. Ah, the barrel fell in. 
That's fine. The barrel fell in because I didn't have any inventory space. That's even more fine. Uh, oh, oops. Drop some carrots. Pick up the barrel. Head on up here again. Now I can close these doors, and I actually am safe. It doesn't look like much, but I am safe. Sugarcane is going to be extremely valuable. thing I still need to do is I need to actually build a sugarcane farm. Uh, a proper industrial sized sugarcane farm specifically. First, I'm going to grab this one. The first thing I'm going to do is just kind of throw everything over in that general direction because it's going to make it easier to transport everything. That's why. Because now I can just sit here going back and forth between these two very short distances instead of needing to jump down, look around, make sure I grabbed everything. Instead, I can just jump down, look up there, and just be like, yep, I grabbed everything. You know, I grabbed it all, it's fine. I can see very clearly there are no random floating items. I don't need to spend a lot of time doing extra stuff just to make sure that it's all nice and clean. Instead, it's all nice and clean. Like I said, I don't have to do anything extra. It's just that simple.
want to get the items put away first. And then I can focus about organizing it. First things first, I want to get everything inside of its container. It's the biggest concern when transferring large quantities of items like this is that when you're going fast, there is a chance that something might just take too long to get to. It's a chance. Okay. Now they would need to be a zombie captain if they wanted to get to me because there's a door in the way. Huh, those fishing rods are identical. Lovely. Uh, now to get these items organized. Seeds and beetroots. Uh, we have lily pads, poisonous potatoes. Okay. I believe this is decently organized. Uh, is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. This guy is invisible. He sells moss. all of these crops. Uh, yes, I am aware that it's nighttime. We have the luxury of waiting at least one night cycle. Uh, the nearby mountain is a little bit dangerous. However, we are well armed enough to not need to worry about the zombies from over there. We have armor, we have swords, we have a bow. We're very well armed. You know, they might show up, they might try and take some swings at us, but in the end, their damage will be superficial at best. Instead, we will be planting carrots. 
have one of the things that I plan to do is I plan to uh, give the villager a supply of carrots. And then I'm going to see basically how long it takes him to uh, tend to the field, how much of the field he tends to, etc., etc. bed will be over here so that he has somewhere safe to sleep. <clears throat> yeah, there's skeletons spawning up there, but they're not going to bother us. Uh, let's see, wheat. Okay, we've got wheat. Now we want to go over here. Convert the wheat into bales of hay. Uh, we want to grab as much rotten flesh as we can because we're going to transport that down to the villager trading hall. Along with the puffer fish because the fishermen villagers will actually buy puffer fish so we want all of the raw fish that we have up here down at the villager trading hall all of the raw fish all of the rotten flesh They'll buy plenty of it, and we want to offer them plenty of it. Uh, but the current problem is that we need a farmer. Which is why, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to deposit these seeds. that are going to be used in the composter. And then I'm going to want to be able to redirect this track, which means I need more track. this bed over to here and then we can sleep in this bed because we do need to sleep Go say hi to this Enderman. somewhere. Okay. It's always awkward how the Enderman does that. 
I'll just teleport away and then never show up again. It's like, where'd he go? He's supposed to be attacking me and be all angry. Why is he not here? <laughs> he just vanished. You know, where, where'd the Enderman go? Because I'm not seeing his items anywhere around here. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, uh, we need to return to base here. I think what happened was the Enderman might have just suffocated in a cave back here somewhere. I don't really have any way to verify that, other than just digging out the whole mountain, which obviously doesn't work very well. Anyways, I need to access over here. Do next is 